time I stand, I just stand to encourage people that work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. Why did he decide to sometimes as a God? Why didn't you say with fear alone, but you added trembling? Because there is something ahead that is fearful that God wish nobody gets there. Hallelujah. He shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied. He died. He came to die. He said, it is finished. He wept it up with his own body. Come on. Calvary Charismatic Center USA welcomes our first lady from Ghana, Mrs. Joyce Obin. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to the wise saying of our mother. Stay blessed. With the husband. Hallelujah. I thank God for her life and I thank God for some of the women who are in Ghana, their lives and what they are doing. As Pastor said, standing with us. You can't do it alone. I am I the other time I said that when I go to heaven, I will ask Abna. Is it Abna or Joab? Who stood with David? Joab. And I said, This man. Anytime you try to cross the path of David, he doesn't care if you are Absalom or Ammon or what. You have to go because the kingdom should go on. But I said, I salute this man. He doesn't care. The only thing that is so overprotective that the kingdom should stand. And I respect him. I really respect men. We need such people in the house. The loyal people. Yes, I've done it, but you cover me. Yes, it is true, but you cover me. Because we are flesh and blood. Anything can happen. So it really happened. But I covered you and I talked to you. That makes sure that it doesn't happen again. So it's my prayer that God should raise such people in this church. That no matter what, no matter the circumstance, no matter the trial, you stand with your, uh, the servant of God. And I know this man is a great man. Yes. Uh, listen, he is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we honor you because you've been so good to us and so faithful. We have no cause to complain. I'm here. That which you want to tell your people, say it. I bring every spirit under your subjection. And I demand that your glory will be seen today. We give you praise. Amen. Yesterday we talked about the deception in the house. And as I went home, I said, God, help me and change my heart and give me the heart of flesh. Take away every stony heart and do something new in my heart. Let me always stand empty, naked before you so that you can always deal with this heart. The problem is the heart. Bible says that the heart is deceitful, is desperately wicked, and no one knows what is in the man's heart? If you don't, we don't take it, our heart will take us to hell. I pray that nobody hearing me today will go to hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Heaven is sweet. And the trials that we are going through, Bible says that it can never be compared to the glory. To the glory that we are going to receive in heaven. What have you got that you did not receive? And if you receive it, why should you boast? And what can you even add to what he's doing? I always counsel myself. I stand in the mirror and I say, Joy, be you do not go to hell. So that which it takes for you to go to heaven, make sure, make sure, determine that you go. 
I will go to heaven. And it's a matter of choice and decision and determination. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anytime I stand, I just stand to encourage people that work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. Why didn't you say, so sometimes I say, God, why didn't you say with fear alone, but you added trembling? Because there is something ahead that is fearful that God wish nobody gets there. Hey. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says, see the travail of his soul and be satisfied. He died. He came to die. He said, it is finished. He worked it out with his own body. Come on. Why are we mishandling the grace like that? Why is Christianity like this? Where is it getting to? Somebody has to stand and say that this plague should stop. And it takes people who go on their knees and do intercession. And declare in their realms that God, this thing should stop. And the God who rules and reigns in their realms will stop it. Because there are so many, happen so many things happening in the quarters that somebody should say that this thing should stop. Calvary Charismatic Center USA welcomes our first lady from Ghana, Mrs. Joyce Obin. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to the wise saying of our mother. Stay blessed.